everyone welcome back to the channel uh, long time no post uh, life got in the way a little bit with everything that's going on so we've got a little bit of a front wheel conundrum today so I'd got a big oily stain on the wheel and now I have a a drip can I get you in there so there is where the screw should go for the oil that's in the fork. Then this is this is the screw I took out, and what I'm now going to put back is the screw with focus a couple of washer. So let me get that in, and I'll bring you back. Right, got you back. So. That has now got a copper washer crushed in there, done up, just slightly nipped. And we're going to go make a cup of tea and we're going to see if we get any more drips down this brake plate. Let's uh, flip you over and look at the other side. Well, that's the other side. There's no um, bit of a gap in there in fact and there's no washer on it and that's the paint that's on there when i bought it so my little one eighth whitworth i've probably got oh that is actually that is actually loose let's get a um another one of them copper washers and see if we can get that in out quick i'll be right back right Copper sealant washer in there, cinched up, clean the wheel. Copper washer in there, cinched up, clean brake plate, and see so here we go. So onto the 56A10. This is my Mark Run. Do I don't I like it? Rev counter handmade bracket. Um, like the height, white spray of black, kind of hides the air meter, but this is a temporary mod to see if I like having a rev counter, whether my rev counter assembly works. Uh, there's the cable, um, the case to replace that one. Um, had a big old burr mark in so that's been welded that's got to come back and be filed again and then um, back on the Triumph couldn't get a decent idle out of it couldn't get a decent idle out of it so where are we pilot had to come out that got a big lump of snot in took the main out that wasn't too bad just made sure it's all cleaned out then blew back up in there then got the idle back uh, yeah, it's all right. Pumped five miles round the block on the AJS, and then did five miles on the Triumph. Uh, what else we got? Oh yes, yeah. Many thanks to Lewis. Oh, stand back so I can get you to see it. Got some fitting up, more fitting up done on the 49 Star Twin. So started to bend the rear brackets because they're repop. So bend them to get the angle of the mud guard right. Pretty good at the back with the with the fixings, and then played with the rear wheel assembly. Let's get it so you can see it. Oh, that finger in the way. Can you see it? No. Alright, try that again. We'll look at it from this angle. So I've got the quick detach rear wheel assembly in the back of the 49. Um, got to clearance this a little bit more, bend these out because these aren't particularly straight at the bottom, so these need to come out a little bit. Uh, got to buy a chain guard or find a chain guard assembly. So you've got the, um, the inner sleeve through all this, bolts with this nut. 
then the hub goes in the spacer goes in and then the long bolt goes right through all the way through and bolts on this nut and then put the parts somewhere as normal so we've got one one bit missing which is a bearing retainer that goes under this cover but the the tube spacer hits the bearing anyway so we're not sure whether we need that this this is the brake torque arm and that comes out and would get sandwiched under there and then if you push the brake can't do it enough yep and then the brake hits the drums so that's about as far as we've got oh no we put the gearbox in we had the mud guard out we ran the steel wheel and lined this sprocket this sprocket up with that sprocket and that's in distance um, got one spacer on the toolbox because on these that hole there is going to drill into that so if I reach right around the back and lift it up no. shut the door lift it up then it sits in there somewhere like that power it at the top pull that up that's going to need another hole for that mud guard to pick that up and there's one at the top as well and that's the three fixings for that um, got the top end sort of there um, rockers in carbs together gaskets together spark plugs in uh, still got a few bits missing but there you go i think pretty up to date cheers for watching